welcome to India. Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Trump. The moment that we've all been waiting for with a lot of excitement and anticipation, the arrival of President Trump and the First Lady Melania Trump to India and the warm welcome, the handshake, the hearty hug, which has now become a symbol of their friendship. Greetings all around. Prime Minister Narendra Modi introducing the American President Donald Trump to the Chief Minister of Gujarat and other dignitaries present. This is the first visit to India by President Donald Trump. That was a quick greeting with Ivanka Trump and Jared Trump, the daughter and son-in-law of President Trump. The blowing of the corn shells is considered auspicious, pious, and the sound there positively energizes the environment through the vibrations. There is such a festive air here. It is as if all of India has come alive to welcome her guests. And this sort of a greeting, this sort of a reception can only be given in India. after being greeted here at the Sardar Balabhai Patel International Airport. The American President, the First Lady, will now proceed towards Sabarmati Ashram. But what will await them on the route Jasleen is also going to be fantastic. The cultural extravaganza, music, dance, arts, crafts await the arrival of the dignitaries on the route as the culture of 28 states of the country will be showcased. So on this short route, President Trump and the First Lady will experience the sights the sounds, the colors, the culture of all of India on the short journey. The utter joy of the dancers is infectious. as they perform the umbrella dance and the presidential beast the armored vehicle will move away from the airport in just a few moments from now the tribal dance of Gujarat is a special attraction conservation and preservation of the rich culture is so very necessary. The sheer diversity is spectacular. In the background, what you also saw was a glimpse of golf dance, which is known as ribbon dance, where the dancers will hold on to a cord and they will make an intricate 
braid at the end of first set of movements where it all gets mixed up but then in the next set of movements when the dancers move the braid gets unrevealed and all the chords are loose and single once again completely majestic we see the presidential cavalcade moving out of the airport as also the cavalcade of the prime minister of india shri narendra modi This is indeed a riot of color as artists of all ages young and old men and women dance in gay abandon and these are seven or nine pots that they balance on their heads which is quite a feat These are age old traditions offering a story to be told a narrative that will help us chronicle the history better for a greater future This is the soft power of India the dolls the costumes the colors the rhythm the claps the dandiya the garba the ribbon dance in the background in india we have a dance for every occasion and ours is a country of festivals so there is a festival every few days in india to celebrate the seasons to celebrate the change of seasons to celebrate the advent of the new season because they are all connected with nature and as nature changes slowly through the year so do our folk dances and we celebrate nature in all its glory the president's limousine the beast now slowly, slowly moving out of the airport that's the golf dance also known as ribbon dance very pleasant weather welcomes the guest president trump has come to india on a world winter and ours are complementary economies so the road for the future will definitely be laid during this visit
Bells. Bells are sacred in India. And of course, waves and cheers. So the entire cavalcade now moves out of the airport towards the city. And after receiving the grand welcome at the Ahmedabad International Airport, U.S. President Donald Trump, First Lady Melania Trump, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and other dignitaries are now participating in a roadshow. Well, this has been the most awaited and much discussed event of this visit when the President of world's most powerful democracy and Prime Minister of world's largest democracy shares the bond of friendship. This is approximately a 22 kilometer long road show and perhaps the longest road show ever held in the city for visiting dignitary. Well the first stop of the road show is Sabarmati Ashram and then it will move towards the world's biggest cricket stadium Motera. The road show has just left from the airport and now is reaching at the airport circle and then it will move towards Sabarmati Ashram. The road show is now moving from the heart of the city touching some of the important destinations. This is the airport circle now where the cavalcade is moving towards Sabarmati Ashram. This road show is a perfect example of Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat. It talks about India is a unique nation whose fabric has been woven by diverse linguistic, cultural and religious threads held together into a composite national identity by a rich history of cultural evolution coupled with the rousing freedom struggle that was built around the tenets of non-violence and justice. And as you can see, peoples have actually gathered on both the sides of the road and greeted the leaders, the two leaders And as you can see on your screens here in this roadshow, 
more than 28 stages have been set up at various locations and the artist and the artist dressed in traditional attire as you can see presenting folk dances music and yoga poses whether it is east or west north or south and from many states of India, the talented artists have come here to showcase their talent and make the world aware of the arts. And this is a perfect platform when all the eyes are set on them. This is the soft power of India. The cavalcade has now reached to the cantonment area. You can see people try to capture the movement in their mobile phones. Here we can see the history and phones. Different states from the country are presenting the traditional dance forms en route to the roadshow. The distance between the airport and the Sabarmati Ashram is about approximately 7 kilometers. And as you can see, the cavalcade is now moving towards uh, Sabarmati Ashram have already crossed the cantonment area. It is now reaching at Hanuman Camp Road. So as we're talking about the cultural performance, you can see the artists performing on the stage here. For example, Gujarat, uh, the state in India, is presenting the Garba. Garba is a form of dance which originated in the state of Gujarat and many traditional Garbas are performed around a centrally lit lamp or picture or statue of goddess Shakti. Traditionally, it is performed during the nine-day Navratri festival. The city of Ahmedabad wore a festive look today. And indeed, people looks quite happy. This is a golden Qatar gate where the cavalcade is reaching now. There are approximately 28 states will be performing and presenting the different style of art, the dance. These artists have been performing and practicing since many years. And as we say earlier, this is a perfect platform to showcase the talent as all the eyes are set on them. And here the different states are performing 
the artists are performing the local folk dance. The idea of sustained and structured connect between denizens of different region was mooted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Prime Minister propounded that cultural diversity is a joy that ought to be celebrated through the mutual interaction and reciprocity between people of different states and union territories so that a common spirit of understanding resonates throughout the country. And now the cavalcade is reaching at the Sabarmati Riverfront Road. And from here, it's just three to four kilometers, the cavalcade will reach to its first destination, that is Gandhi Ashram. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has personally and quite warmly hosted world leaders in Ahmedabad and especially at the Sabarmati Rear Front where this cavalcade is now turning. At the Sabarmati River Front also we can see the artists are performing on the banks of the river of Sabarmati. I was telling Prime Minister Narendra Modi has personally quite warmly hosted world leaders in Ahmedabad including Chinese President Xi Jinping, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The road through has taken a, has reached to the Sabarmati rear front road. And as you can see, people are lined up here on the both the sides of the road. You can see the flags of the United States of America and India. Well, this friendship is not just between the two leaders. Here we can see a friendship between two countries. This is the Sabarmati river front. This is the dream project of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The project was long pending, but when Prime Minister Narendra Modi became Chief Minister of Gujarat, they took the project on a mission mode. And this long pending project was completed in just a few years. This project has become a successful affair as now many states developing the riverfront in the cities like this. Prominent leaders like Japan and Israel, Prime Minister also visited the riverfront and got surprised to see it. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the visit of foreign dignitaries was not just confined to national capital Delhi but was taken to other state of India. So therefore we saw Portugal president visiting Mumbai for Indian Portugal Business Forum, China's president Xi Jinping visiting Mahabalipuram, Tamil Nadu, 
French President Emmanuel Macron and Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visiting Varanasi and Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh. And now we can see US President visiting Ahmedabad, Agra and Delhi. The Kakir is now moving on the Subhash Bridge and from here the Gandhi Ashram is just a couple of kilometers away. On both the sides of road we can see big hoardings and posters being displayed of both the leaders here. So as the first destination of this road show is Gandhi Ashram. The Gandhi Ashram is situated on the bank of Sabarmati River. The Sabarmati Ashram was home to Mahatma Gandhiji from 1917 until 1930 and served as one of the main center of the Indian freedom struggle. As we can see, the cavalcade has reached on the Subhash Bridge. The cavalcade is now crossing Sabarmati River. The ashram originally called Satyagraha Ashram, reflecting the movement towards passive resistance launched by Mahatma Gandhiji. The Ahmedabad city today wore a festive look here. So the cavalcade of President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Narendra Modi has uh, now arrived at Sabarmati Ashram and uh, en route we did see that the distinguished guests were greeted by tens of thousands of people and artists showcasing art from different states and union territories. The beautiful Sabarmati River and on the banks of it Sabarmati Ashram and this is the place which is called Hide Kunj, where Gandhiji lived for nearly 13 years. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi being welcomed at Sabarmati Ashram. After working for 21 years in South Africa, Gandhiji returned to India in January 1915 and he chose to settle in Ahmedabad for a number of reasons. He could serve the country better through his mother tongue Gujarati. Ahmedabad as an old center of hand weaving would serve well to promote the spinning wheel or the charkha and as a prime city of Gujarat. Ahmedabad would be a good source of financial support too. Gandhiji never visited America, but he had a deep connect with people. Martin Luther King was inspired by Gandhiji's philosophy of truth and non-violence as powerful tools during the civil rights movement in America. He said, when I go to other countries, I go as a tourist, but when I come to India, I come as a pilgrim. And this is the entrance to the Sabar Mati Ashram.
it has been preserved 